Hey, uh, what's up, world? I just received my Sega Saturn floppy drive. I won from a Yahoo Japan auction. And since there is, since the interface is in Japanese and there is no definitive instructions out there in English, I thought I'd make this video. I'm using the power adapter that came with my Sega Nomad, which is rated at 10 volts, 0.85 amps. Um, but the official adapter is rated at 9 volts, 1 amp, and is a positive inner, negative outer. I'm powering on the Saturn with an unformatted disk already in the drive, and this message will pop up when the disk in the drive is being read. The FDD operator menu is similar to the system save manager. The words on the top left corner is the location of the saves. The first line is to copy the save item to the opposite block. The second line is to remove the save item, while the third line is to clear the entire save destination. Or in the case of the floppy disk, to format or initialize. The system memory block is always colored pink, while the backup cartridge is always colored blue and the floppy disk blocks are always colored green. Press left or right to toggle through the available save destinations. The two respective sides of the disk are labeled 1 and 2. Again, the floppy disk blocks are always colored green. The floppy disk needs to be formatted before use. You will know a disk needs to be formatted because the available disk space will be zero. When formatting is done, you will have 11,392 blocks of save space per respective side of the disk. Here I'm changing the bottom block to the system memory and testing a save transfer from system memory to side 1 of the floppy. Now, I'm testing the delete functions. The bottom right action is to read the floppy disk. This is for times when we replace the current floppy disk with another floppy. Here I switched the floppy disk to one holding all of my saves. Now you may be thinking, why the heck do I need a Sega Saturn floppy disk drive? Especially considering the backup memory cartridge can hold a crazy amount of saves. For one thing, it's a lot more secure than a cartridge, which can easily get corrupted. Another is because of Sega Rally, whose Ghost Replay save takes a whopping 1,953 blocks of memory. It's not possible to transfer that save to another cartridge because of the system memory is limited to 461 blocks. It sure was a sickening day when I lost my Ghost Replay saves as well as my other Sega Rally times and records back in the 90s. Some gamers do not know that Sega Rally could save Ghost data, though it's limited to the best overall time. Sega Rally Championship All right, let's watch your run one more time on the desert course. Here I am playing with an unmodded Lancia ripping up the desert course in a recent run.
you guys found this video helpful, please, uh, you know, leave comments or hit the like button. And uh, just let me know what you think.